So we got an outage here to fix. The section of the plant has been having uh, intermittent problems due to some bad cable. But finally, we're having some of this cable being replaced. They replaced it, they kind of mangled uh, what was already here, which caused a small outage. So I, did, I got sent down there to, fi to fix it. I'm gonna tie in this new piece and repair the, uh, and extend the input. Uh, just connect the, the mangled piece of cable and rebuild this lead. This gives me the perfect chance to uh, raise the line extender off the ground a little bit while I'm tying in a new cable. I'm gonna unhook the input uh, for a little bit. Let's go ahead and lift this bad boy up out of here so we can set it in a higher position. They cut the old output of this line extender out off so we can, uh, I'm gonna turn that 90 degrees, uh, rotate it a little bit so we can set it in a new position. We're gonna go ahead and set this thing a little bit higher so we can, get a, we can get better access to the line extender in the future. As I reset that 90 degrees, we're going to work on connecting the new output. We'll get this uh, 875 pin uh, installed here, get the Caesar screw tightened. Uh, I've got one of those multi-piece uh, drivers. And it's got anything from the 316s to the half inch. Uh, very handy tool. And it's hard to find now. I used to find them all over the place. Now that I got this uh, output feeder lined up, uh, we're going to go ahead and cut it uh, in position. The cable cut it to length. We're going to go ahead and start coring it, put our connector on, and get that uh, squared away. Get the output connected, let's go ahead and throw the heat shrink on there and get that all set together. Connected, we can go ahead and tighten this uh, seizure screw in the module. On extending uh, the input. So I'm just take a, a piece of 500 P3, extend the input maybe a foot or two uh, so we get the line extender off the ground ain't nothing more irritating than you trying to work on a line extender that thing sitting under the pedestal um, bottom and you have to pull some gymnastics and hijinks just to make adjustments or check the line extender good so basically just put a splice in there we can raise the line extender up the extend the input Long story on this mine extender. This is uh, put in because we had so much bad cable. So the sad part about this rebuild is that pretty soon I'm gonna have to go back and cut this line extender out and just put a splice in. I think we got another piece of cable to get ran and uh, replace uh, a bad section. And once that happens, this line extender won't be needed anymore. We'll take it out. But I just wanted. Had, I just wanted to uh, show you this work while we're at it. Some of y'all are probably wondering why we got 875 output and 500 input. But uh, that's the story I was told. Alright, that's the only way these customers are going to get back on. That, that today was if I had to rebuild the line extender. We'll figure that out and stuff out later.
the input has been extended and now we just got to get it connected um, put a pin connector on the bottom of the module and cut the input to length and we should be good to go like videos like this let me know and please give me a follow and uh, I appreciate you tuning in